Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, when do you like to pray? Do you like to pray in the morning? Do you like to pray in the afternoon? Do you like to pray at nighttime? And, and, and how do you like to pray? Do you like to pray on your knees? Do you like to pray when you're walking? Do you like to pray when you're driving or maybe when you're laying down? Uh, now, I'll just confess, uh, my favorite posture and, and way to pray is uh, walking around the McCulloch Sanctuary uh, in the dark. It doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime, I just turn the lights off and wander around. I have frightened many people walking into that sanctuary and not knowing that I was in there. And then a voice out of the darkness says, uh, hello, and uh, I've had people shriek and back up and just be taken completely off guard. So uh, I'm the phantom of McCulloch. But... Um, uh, I ask that because it's good to have prayer habits. It's really good to have prayer habits. A regular time, regular place that you meet God. And then beyond that, there are those moments of desperate prayer. Listen to Psalm 102, verses 1 and 2. The psalmist says, Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in that day when I call. Now, the psalm goes on to describe uh, anguish, but also announces hope and faith. Okay, it's, it's a both and. Like many psalms, it expresses the hurt and desperation of the heart, at the same time uh, communicating the faith and trust in God. So, but I, as I read this, I thought, well, what does Jesus say about prayer? Well, Jesus said, ask, and it'll be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. He went on to say, hey, if you know how to give good gifts to your children, even though you're evil, how much better does your father know how to give good gifts to those who ask him? Uh, because he's perfect. Uh, and then the Apostle James uh, kind of tells us it's never wrong to ask. And he says, now you ask and you don't get it because you ask with the wrong motives uh, because you're selfish. But, but he says it's never wrong to ask. So today, if uh, you're desperate or if you're not, Pray. Pray knowing that God is listening to you, knowing that God loves you, knowing that God is working redemptively in your life, even if it doesn't feel like it or you can't see it. And, and I know it's difficult to wait. I'm impatient, but it's difficult to wait. But wait on the Lord. You know, Isaiah says, if those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings uh, like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. So pray and wait and do it with faith uh, because one day you'll be able to praise God again. But my challenge is don't ever stop praising God and praying even in the pain. I hope that helps you whether your day is glorious or difficult and just knowing that you can pray. God bless.